<laughs> Don't be call me that. Oh. You want to be president? Um, your campaign isn't going well so far, bud. Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you're new here. It's so good to have you here. Today, I am so excited because we are getting back into Invincible with Season 2, Episode 1, A Lesson for Your Next Life. I really can't complain. I literally just finished Season 1 and watched the Adam Eve special episode, and now I get to immediately jump into Season 2, and they're already putting out new episodes, so I really didn't have to wait at all. So I feel very lucky for that, especially with the cliffhanger that we left off on on season two. I mean, Mark was presenting all this information about his dad. We really don't know how he's going to actually take that. And we don't even know how Nolan's really going to take it. He ended up not killing his son, which obviously we're grateful for. But when it sounds like his entire life fed and hammered into his mind that he's supposed to do one thing, he's on one mission, and then he doesn't do that, I just know he's going through a crisis somewhere. I can only hope that it's like a Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender arc, where it's like maybe he just needs time to go through it and then he'll come play for the good guys, perhaps. I also really enjoyed everything going on in Adam Eve. We also got to see a little bit of a peek of Nolan and how he treated or at least his thoughts towards Mark when he was a kid, which was very fascinating. I wonder how much of the Adam Eve, if anything, will really play a role in this. I really enjoyed seeing her backstory like that's that was one of the best stories I've ever seen played out. Season one was absolutely amazing. Like, I love Invincible. I'm, I'm loving watching this show with all of you guys. So I have high hopes for season two. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon, I'm four weeks ahead. So if you're interested in both early access and full length reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. All right, let's go. Oh, what is that? Is it Omni-Man? Ah, no, Immortal. When are we and why are they fighting? Is it just because he can't fight Omni-Man? Oh, <gasps> whoa, was that Omni-Man? Yep. He's back? Oh, I did not expect that. I thought he was going to be gone for much longer. Oh god, oh god, I get that he's immortal. And he'll probably be able to come back. Immortal your way out of that. What? What's happening? Wait, can he really not come back? I thought he'd see the truth. Like you did. Like you did? So we must be close. Mark! You joined his side? This has got to be a nightmare or something, right? I feel like I'm having a nightmare, at least. The worse this gets, we didn't destroy your- Now who's that? I'm... invincible. What? The title was supposed to show then. We know. You all feel like we're the bad- What's happening? Did Mark really do this? I don't believe it. I feel like this is a bad alternate universe, bad dream. And what is this place? Engstrom, were you followed? Robot? That's what Rex thought too. Eve? <laughs> where are we? Eve, why did you cut your hair? If this doesn't make Omni-Man have a bad day, nothing will. Is this like very far in the future and then we're eventually going to go back in time to explain this? Hey Eve, you look good. Because why would Mark be acting like this? Like, it's one thing to take his side, but why is he, like, taunting? Oh, oh. That's what's supposed to kill him? Get back! Yeah. Unfortunately, that weapon didn't stand a chance against him. Wow. Disturbing. Sure. But you should have died at birth. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Wow, that's 
something. That was a line from Omni Man. I would never kill you, but I can't let you hurt anyone else. Oh my god. So you will kill her. Yep. What is going on? Uh, she's not dead. Just paralyzed. Paralyzed? So he really didn't kill her, but wow. What is worse? Hi, since you were all part of the resistance, we need to kill you. Oh my god! Yeah, way ahead of you. Oh? What the hell was that? No, literally, what the hell was that? What is going on in general? Let's finish this off. I'm starving. Okay, part of me? I mean, I am on the first episode. I had to sneak my mouse there because can you imagine if I wasn't? I feel like I'm not. I feel like I missed something. Okay, is this where we left off or is he revisiting? So this is right after and he's helping? He's helping clean up the mess? So what was it that we just saw? The future? Alternate universe? A dream? So I'm getting that he's still doing everything right, but he's kind of numb through it all. Like, just going through the motions. That's what this song is giving me. Well, that's nice. That's a really fast ambulance. Hey, didn't we deal with that guy before? Neither do you. Oh, I'm happy they still have each other. Mark looks different somehow. Is his hair like slightly longer? It's interesting for a cartoon to look different. I can't place what it is. You should count yourself lucky there, Pete. You could have torn your arm off. I love Smash. the bass in the background with the clones. Like it just makes them seem cool. As long as you keep us in good food, which you're currently not. That's threatening because they did get out, but that was because Robot wanted them out or Rudy. Oh yeah, I shit portals now. Didn't I mention that? Oh? Great! So they did get out again. So where are these portals coming from? I bet he knows. Who? Who is that? <clears throat> is that the guy that we saw in the beginning? With the portal? Hi, Angstrom. Why'd you break us out? Angstrom? You... That's gonna be hard for me to remember. Let me guess, you can open portals between dimensions. I mean, I don't like to brag. Ah, so it was another dimension. Cool. I need your help with a very specific problem. I love how everybody needs the clone self. There's no one else with your scientific je ne sais quoi. Trust me, I've looked everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. In different dimensions too. I miss when we only work for ourselves. Me too. I'm actually really happy the clones are still around. I like them. They're interesting and a lot of the times they're funny. Todd, listen, I- A hug! I'm uh, sorry your dad got exploded. <laughs> I know I shouldn't laugh at that, but it's a little bit of a funny sentence. I hear your dad was an okay guy though. and He was like Jack. Right? Um, yeah, an okay guy. How interesting, though, that the bully Thanks, is Dad. coming up to him like that. Making up for all my mistakes. You didn't kill those people, Mark. Omni-Man did. Yeah, it's not your fault. You don't owe anyone anything. We're glad to have her around. She knows what to say. But you also went through an emotional tumble dryer, and I need to know your head stopped spinning. Yeah, you know, Cecil's very fair for that. He was very suspicious in the beginning, but it's pretty great now. I'm not my dad. I'm not my dad. Yeah. Somebody get this kid to therapy, honestly. Like, even if he did just lose his dad in an accident, he needs therapy. And this is so much more than that. They could really use Invincible. Kind of awkward that we just had that conversation with him then. Piece of shit. Don't call me that. <laughs> Don't be call me that. Of America. Oh. You want to be president? Um, your campaign isn't going well so far, bud. The giant seems to have the mental capacity of an eight-year-old. 
of an eight-year-old. That makes sense. Explains the astronaut part. That's okay. He's a giant with giant dreams. Detonate stress points in the concrete and drop the giant into it. Oh, interesting idea. Lies him there without endangering. Oh, how'd that work out for you? Rudy! You okay? I'm. He almost got stomped. Rudy and Monster Girl are so interesting together. Why are you so mean to me? Why are you so mad? <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? God, that's funny. All sweaty. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's fear. Before yeah, that's just part of being human. What do you need it for? Two, what's in it for us? Yeah, I was surprised it took them took so long to ask. They need to know what they get out of this. There's an infinite number of dimensions. Ooh. In most other dimensions, they teamed up and took over the planet. In most of them? Wow. A Prometheus who raises the bar for everyone by sharing what works. Uh, so he just wants to be like the ultimate hero. Meet the family. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Me neither. This is like in Spider Verse. As long as you promise not to hurt anyone. Hmm. Good food. And a population that thinks we're gods. I mean, who wouldn't want that in their position with their mindset? It's a pretty good deal. But I wonder if that guy will actually follow through on it. Debbie. <gasps> I've been huh? waiting. Olga. It's open, so I let myself in. Oh. You like Stroganov, yes? Uh, this is awkward, maybe? I was I was there just last year with... Oh. When I saw you with that knife, I thought... <laughs> really? Uh -huh. I'm still kind of suspicious. This poison would be much better. Did she? <laughs> oh, girl, don't play us like that. I'm scared. Both our husbands died that night. Yeah, that's a good point. I did say in the last episode that it was sad that Debbie didn't have anyone to understand her like that. So I'm glad she's here. 20 years and I was a goddamn fucking pet. Yeah, that was the most messed up. Well, the most is hard to say, but that one hurt. What's this? Yeah, what is that? Something that helped me. Something that helped her? What is it? I want to know. You can't help him until you help yourself. Aww. Well, Olga's good people. As long as that card isn't something like really weird, really bad. A failure of leadership. Phew. <laughs> Off the hook. Oh my god. Uh, sorry. I'm still adjusting. <laughs> Please, Rex. A change. Oh. I mean, yeah, that probably makes sense to have Immortal in charge. The team needs more muscle. Meat, bulletproof. Bulletproof? Hey. Huh, okay. Where did he come from? Uh, I came up with it. <laughs> Is this somebody to put Rex in his place? I could appreciate that. I understand. Good man. I knew I could count on you. I mean, yeah, I'm sure the adjustment to human body is a little weird. Hey, stranger. Eve! Oh, I'm so happy to see her. I really love her, especially after her special episode. I always wanted to be my dad. What if that happens? Oh, God. What a line. Wanting to become your dad your whole life, and then the day that it switches like a light switch to fearing that you will one day become your dad. Wow. Put me back out there. Sir, energy levels just went off the chart. I mean, they need him. Someone get this kid an earpiece. And of course they're gonna give him a chance. It'll be really interesting to see if Mark really does do well. Following orders. You know who else could have pulled this off? No one in a million different dimensions. This looks wild. This looks like some weird amusement park ride. <laughs> Transdimensional interconnects are stable. Wow. What an insane way to start the season with multi-dimensional stuff. Even though you'll have everyone's memories, it's a first for us. 
How how can one human brain handle that? Damage would be the least of your problems. Oh, I understand. Okay, brain damage least of the problems. Good. Oh God, it's not look enjoyable. I wouldn't go on this amusement park ride personally. I contain multitudes. Oh my God, terrifying. Ooh. That's why you get Invincible's here now. Okay, there's like a giant mechanical Christmas tree with like a bunch <laughs> of it. Giant mechanical Christmas tree. Make us. <laughs> you have no idea how much I wanted you to say. That's true. He's been looking forward to this. Invincible, you don't understand. <laughs> if I didn't understand, why didn't you do this a better way? Why did you get criminals to help you? Instead of like the government. This is for the greater good. Yeah, I've heard that before. Ooh. Yeah, that's too true. <laughs> oh? Oh god. More of the Maulers? Other us's? You said we were special. <laughs> you said we were special. That's funny. That's why I like them. It's always so fun seeing the different dimension versions of them. Especially that one woman one. That's fun. Oh. Not the foot to the face. Put a shoe on at least. That thing's gotta stink. But don't kill him. Oh, we're gonna do both. Shut up and enjoy the show. Oh, please. Somebody help him. We're almost done. Oh my god. I think that guy's gonna help. Utopia with blood. Okay. Okay, that sounds like it'll be dangerous for you. Whoa. Wow. Wow. So he really has an idyllic sense of utopia. So much so that he didn't want to start it this way. That's wild. I don't know how to feel about him. So Invincible lived, of course. But what about the other guy? And all of the versions of the other guy. I guess he really is. Invincible. Why do they keep doing that? They keep tricking me into thinking the title thing's gonna come out. Are they doing that on purpose? This is what happens when you follow my orders. We did good today, do you understand me? Man, that would be hard to listen to. I stopped the Maulers, but things exploded. Are you okay? That'd be so hard for her to see him beat up like that. No, you don't have to. I can order I want to. <gasps> Not the grabbing of the three plates. He grabbed three plates. You first. Oh. No way, you first. This is very Spider-Man coded, this episode. I wanted to say that we're going to college together. I don't believe you. Come on now. Just tell us if he got in. Oh my god. I got in. I got in. Yay! <laughs> I guess I get to keep my superhero boyfriend after all. Hopefully. It's gonna be hard for him to do both. Oh! <gasps> Hi, Immortal. I was surprised he wasn't, you know, upset about him existing in the Guardians of the Globe. Cecil thinks you're on our side. I'm not so sure. Hmm, valid. I mean, he literally had that experience with Omni-Man, of course. Of course he's gonna use that experience to make sense of what's happening now. Oh? Ah, there we go. One Mahler is alive. Oh. Whoa, uh, he's in rough shape, though. Brother? Is that you? Probably one of your brothers. Yes! <laughs> How are you even breathing? Oh, dear. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is that his brain? I ruined everything! Uh... Uh, this is a lot. He's died because of him. Your brain scrambled. Yeah, it is. You need a hospital. Ugh. He needs more than a hospital. I won't rest until I've killed! Invincible. Of course they made us wait until the end for that. Wow. 
That's disturbing. It's the last time I work for anyone else ever. <laughs> I feel like it won't be the last time, but we can let him think that. Friends, thank you so much for watching Invincible Season 2, Episode 1 with me. That was an incredible way to open up the season with this guy who can open up portals, multiple dimensions. I mean, that really had me at first. I just couldn't believe that that was our mark that went to Omni-Man's side. So I'm glad to know that it's not, but it is very interesting that he said that in most of the other universes, he did do that. Now at the end there, um, I'm a little disturbed and by a little, I mean a lot. Is that supposed to be like a brain that's coming out of him because of how much memories he has to possibly hold? Like it's almost like infinite knowledge nearly. Uh, and it seems like Invincible really did him harm in all these different worlds, especially because he said in most of them he teamed up with Omni-Man. I wouldn't be surprised by that if it was anything like what we saw in the first scene. So now we have someone that's super powerful, very knowledgeable after us, and that's scary. But hey, you know what's good about this episode? The silver lining is that Mark got into college. Yay! <laughs> But yeah, thank you again so much for watching with me. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you stay hydrated, stretch your legs, please don't get arrested, and I will see you then. Goodbye.